Hello everyone and welcome to the DevScopes YouTube channel. Join me today as you learn more about some hidden gems in analyzing Excel. I know this is not your go-to analysis tool when it comes to analyzing Power BI semantic models, however there's always going to be some users that prefer it over Power BI and I'm going to show you some hidden gems that help you with the development of semantic models specifically for uh, analyzing Excel uh, cases. So the first thing I want to show you is the Analyzing Excel external tool. So if we go over here to Power BI, on the external tools tab, you will see that I have this Analyzing Excel tool. Basically what this allows you to do is to create an Excel that is connected directly to your local dataset. So this way you don't need to publish the dataset to Power BI service in order to analyze it with Excel. You can do it right away locally and this speeds up your development process. The second thing I want to show you is the available in MDX Pro. So if we look, take a look here, you can see that I also have tabular editor and this is the external tool we're going to use to access that property available in MDX. Uh, very briefly, what this property uh, allows us to, to do is basically to tell Excel if he's able to query the object or not. For example, if a column is not available in MDX, uh, Excel won't be able to query it. And on the other hand, it will also have an effect on the, on the size of the dataset. So if you have this option true enabled for every object, you will have a bigger dataset. And if you have it disabled only for some specific columns, and I'm going to show you which ones you can do that, uh, you will have a smaller dataset. Uh, to access this property, you just need to uh, open tabular editor, of course, and then navigate to a specific column. As you can see here, this column, the store key column, uh, we have selected, and now if I scroll down, we can see the available in MDX property, and it is set to true. So uh, Excel will be able to query it. However, since this column is already hidden, we can disable this option because Excel won't uh, need to query this object. So, in order to do this, we're going to use a C Sharp script. Uh, but first, let's just take a look at the size of the dataset so I can show you the differences. So, let's use Dex Studio to do so. We'll see. Uh, the current size of the data set and then we can take a look at it uh, afterwards. So now if we just view metrics and then we'll go over to summary, we can see that we have a 2.24 gigabyte data set. Okay, so let's close this and now go over to tabular editor again and let me show you the C-sharp script I have here to disable the available in MDX property. So I just have here a couple of lines that we don't need. It's just for logging purposes. We can comment these ones out. And now, as you can see, the first line basically looks for every column that is hidden and it is not used to sort other columns. You also have to take that into account, okay? And then it just looks for if, it's, if it is indeed true, the property. Then for each column, we're just, going, we're just going to set, for each column with those characteristics, we're going to set the available in MDX property to false. So let's run this script. I just press play and it is done. Now if we take a look, the store key, the available in MDX is set to false. And this is for every column that is hidden and is not used to sort other columns. So now we just need to save the, the, the model, it's, it's done. Now if we take a look again at the dataset, the size of the dataset with X2, you're going to notice uh, a difference in the size of it. So we'll go to advanced, view metrics, just wait a bit, summary. And as you can see, it went from 2.24 gigabytes to 2.15 gigabytes. The difference will be greater if you have more columns hidden, 
uh, and the bigger data set, of course. So the third thing I want to show you is the detailed rows expression property. What this property basically allows you to do is to define the drill through behavior when working with analyzing Excel. Uh, and let me show you what I mean by that. If now I open analyzing Excel, we can now do a quick pivot table so I can show you what I mean by the drill through behavior. So for example, if we just have, if we drag the brand row over here and then the net sales net price sorry better quantity if we drag this over here okay so now we can see a simple pivot table and if we double click this value the measure value you see that this basically drills drills through to the specific table where the measure is. In this case, I have the measures in a separate column and it in, in, in a separate table, and it drills through to that specific table. But in this case, there's not any information in that table. So what we can do to go around this is basically specify the DAX expression in the detail rows expression property. So let me show you, let's just delete this. And let's go over to tabular editor. So basically we, here we use the quantity uh, measure. We can do this for the other ones, but let's just focus on the quantity uh, in specific. And if we take a look at the measures, now we select quantity, you will see that if you scroll down on the detail rows expression, we have here a blank space, okay? And we want basically what we need to add here is a DAX expression that returns a table. I already have one here. Let me just copy it. And I'm going to paste it over here. Okay, so, okay, so as you can see here, this is basically the selected columns where I specified the table and then I specified every column that I wanted to show on the drill through. So here, basically, there are just columns from orders table, but you can also get columns from other tables using, for example, related. Here, we just now we just enter the values. It's done. Now, if we save the BIM file, okay, it's done. Now, if we go back to Excel, we just need to refresh the connection let's just refresh it real quick okay and now if we click double click again on the measure here you'll see that we get all the columns we specified in that dex expression okay so the first the fourth and last thing i want to show you is uh, the um, all that drill through connection property and this is specific to excel so if we if you take a look here you can see that when we drill through we are only able to see the first 1000 rows but we can actually modify this value to show more rows and to do that we just need to go over to the data tab queries and connections and then on the connection here we have to the excel in this case we can right click, select properties, and then here you'll have a lot of properties, but here the one we are looking for is this one, the OLAP drill through. And here we can set the maximum number of records to retrieve. In this case, it's 1000, but we can get, for example, 10,000. Just click OK. And then we just have to do it again. And we double click. Now you'll see that we get the first 10,000 rows. So this is all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos.